as the name implies, the proportional component of the controller output is proportional to the control error E. Most controllers use the proportional mode in conjunction with integral and possibly derivative. With the exception of field-mounted regulators, few controllers are proportional only. But even rarer are controllers that do not use the proportional mode. The terminology proportional to E suggests that the output of a proportional only controller should be the control error E multiplied by a coefficient. The coefficient is a tuning coefficient generally referred to as the controller gain and designated by K sub C. Display the tuning coefficients for the hot air temperature controller. The controller is proportional only with a value of 1% for the controller gain. Switch the hot air temperature controller to auto. The value of the PV is 210 degrees Celsius. The value of the set point is 210 degrees Celsius. These are equal, so the control error E is zero. Zero times any value of the controller gain is zero. If the controller output is controller gain times control error, the controller output is zero and the fuel valve is zero percent open or fully closed. This cannot be. The fresh air enters at ambient temperature and is heated to 210 degrees Celsius. Some fuel is required. The equation for the proportional only controller is more accurately described as proportional plus bias. The controller output is gain times control error plus a bias or more specifically the controller output bias M sub R. In addition to the PV, the set point, and the controller output, the simulator displays the value of the controller output bias in the point window. Currently the values of both the controller output M and the controller output bias M sub R are 82% open. The set point and PV are equal, so the controller error is zero, and the controller output M must equal the controller output bias M sub R. Proportional only controllers have one major defect. When a loop lines out, the usual expectation is that the PV will equal the set point. But for proportional only controllers, this is not assured. At line out, the control error must be constant, but not necessarily zero. To demonstrate, Increase the fresh air flow by increasing the fresh air damper to 65.8% open, an increase of 5%. The hot air temperature is said to droop down and eventually lines out at 205.7 degrees Celsius. The hot air temperature controller has increased the controller output from 82% open to 83.5% open. Place the simulator on hold. Upon lining out, the control error E is constant at 4.3 degrees Celsius. When the control error E is constant, the output of a proportional only controller will also be constant. However, 
nothing in the proportional bias control equation forces the control error E to be zero when the loop lines out. The amount of fuel that must flow to the furnace depends on the fresh air flow. In this sense, the fresh air flow is the load on the furnace. For proportional only control of the hot air furnace, an increase in the load causes the hot air temperature to droop down. A decrease in the load causes the hot air temperature to ride up. Controls first appeared in the process industries in the form of proportional only pneumatic controllers. How did the process operators cope with droop? The early controllers provide a knob labeled manual reset that adjusted the controller output bias M sub R. Return the simulator to run. Change the value of the controller output bias from 82% open to 84% open. The hot air temperature now lines out at 209 degrees Celsius. To line out at the set point, the control output bias must be increased a bit more. Place the simulator in hold. Rarely do today's process operators know anything about manual reset and adjusting the controller output bias. Such requirements became obsolete with the introduction of the integral mode, often called automatic reset or just reset. The integral mode adjusts the controller output bias until the PV lines out at the set point. The standard features of most commercial control systems will neither display the controller output bias nor accept values for it. The exception is fuel mounted regulators. The set adjustment is not the set point input to a comparator, but is the offset bi output bias. Adjusting the set knob affects the line out value in the same manner as we have demonstrated for the hot air temperature controller. Place the simulator to run. Change the value of the set point from 210 degrees Celsius to 220 degrees Celsius. The hot air temperature now lines out at 214.8 degrees Celsius, not at the set point of 220. Place the simulator and hold. What determines the value of the PV at which the proportional only controller lines out? Given sufficient information, the line out value can be computed. But given the infrequent use of proportional only, why should we devote time to this topic? When integral is present in the controller, the PV can only line out at the set point. A behavior known as the proportional kick is exhibited by the response to the set point change. At the instant the set point changes from 210 to 220 degrees Celsius, Controller output, the yellow pin, changes abruptly. This behavior is due to the proportional mode and is known as the proportional kick. The proportional mode equation, M equals K sub C times E plus M sub R, computes the controller output M. This is known as the position form. The incremental or velocity form 
is written in terms of changes are deltas. Delta M, the change in controller output, equals controller gain K sub C times delta E, the change in the control error. This form computes the change delta M in the controller output. A set point change of 10 degrees Celsius causes the control error to change by 10 degrees Celsius. A subsequent video will explain that a controller gain of 1% is a controller gain in engineering units of 0.333% open per degree C. That is, for each 1 degree C change in the control error, the controller output will change by 0.333% open. The set point change of 10 degrees C causes the proportional mode to abruptly change the controller output by 3.33% open. The controller output changes from 84.3% open to 87.6% open at the instant the set point changes. This constitutes the proportional kick and is present whenever the proportional mode is used within the controller. The next video explains how a smooth or bumpless transition from manual to auto is achieved.